all right. Uh, welcome to the Zoom talk. Nice to see you. Hello. Hello again. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> all right. Um, well, all there is is what seems to be happening. It's whole and complete. It's just this. Uh, this does neither follow a plan, nor is there any kind of purpose or intention or stuff like that. It's just everything. It's not embedded into something greater. This isn't uh, the relative, the small moment into a greater existence or within a huge whatever. It's everything in that sense. On the other hand, it's absolutely no thing. So what seems to be happening, sitting in front of a screen and thoughts and stuff like that, isn't something. It's not a circumstance. It's not a circumstance made out of small circumstances, objects, parts, so to speak. What happens, what is, isn't one thing made out of many small things. It's no thing. This isn't something, these aren't objects. It's no thing. The only dream, the only assumption that there are parts comes from the sense of I am, which experiences itself to be a part. I'm something, I'm something on my own and I'm, I'm separate from the rest. It's this impression, it's this sense which overlays everything with this, with, with this sense, so to speak, that everything are separate parts. Everything is made out of real some things or a real something. But that's the dream. There is no I. It's this, this sense of existence, this first sense of presence, so to speak, which is the dream. And when that turns out to be illusory, when that turns out to be non-existent at all in the first place, this whole reality collapses, this whole assumption of there being a real universe, a real existence made out of parts, separate parts and things and processes and interconnections and all that thing, this impression just collapses with it instantly, so to speak. The moment the person drops this whole, this whole impression drops because they go together. The person is this impression. The person is the impression of separation, of reality, of a divided reality. It is that. When it turns out to be illusory, this impression drops. What's left can't be known. What's left isn't something new on the one hand, because that sitting in front of a screen is a divided reality, was a dream. It never was a divided reality. So when the sense of I drops, nothing changes. It's not that suddenly something new happens. On the other hand, what is, is unknowable and wild and total and free and empty and meaningless, of course, as well. It's just this. All right, that's it. That's the natural reality. What we talk about is already the case. Unreachable because it's not over there. Can't be reached. What happens can't be reached simply because it's already happening. Hi, Andreas. Good day. Good day. What you're saying in the introduction sounds stunning about, you know, what's happening, being unknowable and wild and all of that. But it's just awful, or at least for the person, that no one gets to see how it is. It's awfully wild. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but, yes, yeah. seen from the person, that's really bad news. And it's actually a quite weird idea that wholeness isn't experienced by anything that it doesn't even now know about itself. That's a weird idea. Yeah. It just seems very, very empty that there's all of this wild on nobility going on. 
Well, yeah, and it's just empty. I think there isn't more empty than there. It's just empty, yes. <laughs> but it's only the person that would think, I need to see this. If, the, if there was no one there and it, everything was just happening as it is happening. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. This emphasis on seeing it, being aware of it, it must know itself. There must be some kind of knowing or realization. Only happens, uh, only takes place within the dream of I am. I didn't hear everything you said there. It froze for a bit. <laughs> so the test was not very successful so far. <laughs> um, I forgot what I said. I'm sorry. You were saying like about the emphasis on seeing it and it must be aware of itself and it must know itself and then it froze. Yes, yeah, it only takes place for the person. That's only exclusively part of the dream of I am. Yes, if there's no one there, no one cares. Absolutely. Nothing to aware of anything. Because, yeah. Exactly. To be aware of, to know, to see, doesn't matter at all. It's not something that matters. It's not even... But for the, per but for the person, awareness seems like the most useful tool. Because it's like, I'm going to use my awareness to navigate my life and create the circumstances that I want. So awareness for the person is like... Yeah, well, yeah the person important. is awareness and the person takes itself as the answer to everything, to be aware of. I need to be aware of. Of course, what else? The person is not the answer to anything. It fucks it up. Well, in that, my, or in my yeah, but that's what it thinks. Oh, yeah. Me becoming liberated, me becoming more aware, me becoming fulfilled, me becoming more present. It's always the person taking itself as the answer. This is total unconsciousness then. It's the opposite of... So to speak, the whole universe is absolutely blindly itself without even knowing that it is existing. Of course, it's only within the dream of self-consciousness where it feels as if there is something conscious about itself. <laughs> this, is scary. this is a scary thing. It sounds scary, but thank you. Yeah, oh, of course. Uh, but, yeah, seen from the person, it's scary. Okay, the funny to be conscious of already seems to imply some kind of control. To at least know that something is going on already gives a sense of security. But it's an artificial security. Totally, of course. It does feel secure. I'm aware of what's going on. I'm aware this is a meeting. I'm talking to Andreas. There's other people listening, blah, 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 blah. And that, yeah, there's some form of security in that sense of control, but it's just artificial. Oh, totally, of course. It has nothing to do with what's going on. It's just within the dream of I am. Okay. So it's actually useless, this artificial consciousness? Yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> It's not needed at all. It doesn't, it's not doing anything except being what it is, so to speak. <laughs> it still feels to me like a waste of energy. I know the universe doesn't have a perspective or what's happening doesn't have a perspective on what energy is apparently doing. Exactly. So as there is no goal, it's also not a waste of anything. Mm. It's just it seems to be happening. Okay, uh, Elidio. Hey, Andreas, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Um, so this, so this is not, a, okay. This is not a belief. What you're saying is not a belief. No, yes, yeah, sitting in front of a screen is not a belief. The whole message is not a belief. No. Yeah, the whole. Yeah. No, the person can People think it's... turn it into a belief, but it, it's not. Okay. So that's what I mean. 
You say you don't see other people. Do you see dead people? Do no. you see dead people? No. But, but that other thing over there, there's a contracted energy and tells me it's a belief. But not here. Not here. When I try to explain it. Yeah. Which I know I. Yeah, yeah. People might think when there is someone or the person might think that this is kind of a philosophy or a belief system. Yeah. And that's basically yeah. what it is for the person. The person can just say, yeah. hmm, maybe it is like that. So, maybe not. So, so you do see dead people. You sense dead people. Andres. Oh no, usually what? people no? don't it. I don't sense you... there to be people. Usually they just say it right away. <laughs> but okay, you're all right. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Yes. Andre, if I sit here and say concept, then... Andres, all you are is just you're just the luminary. And you're trying to get one over everyone, okay? That's what you are. You know what you know what the luminary is? No. But... No, they control the <laughs> it's just a conspiracy theory. Oh, all right. Okay. So and all you are is a conspiracy. If that's what you believe. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> but that's what they that's what that's what they'll think and that's what they'll tell you. So <laughs> so when they do that, there is an energy there that's a person, correct? That you uh, yes. Yeah, one could say yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um apparently. A parent person. Yeah. So why can't I smack them around? Oh, you figure. It out. Yeah, smack them around metaphorically to snap them out of it. Oh, it's impossible. Yeah, because I've noticed. Because there isn't anyone really. So. Yeah. yeah, there's no one here to. Yeah. Yeah, and if that's right. what happens the sense that there is someone and the assumption that this message is a belief system, then uh, you yeah. can't really do anything about that because who would you be talking to? Yeah. Yeah, there's frustration sometimes here. Yeah. Uh, understood. Already. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the idea that they could know uh, that they could know better or something different would also come from an illusion. So can't convince anyone of anything else, so to speak. What would you convince them of, so to speak? That it's not a belief? All right. It would be another thing that they can only believe. <laughs> Was that a rhetorical question? Did you want me to answer? Like no, what? No, it was the rhetorical question. Okay. Thanks. If there is even a slight sense of anything existing, then that sense of solidification will cause suffering. Well, that sense is the suffering. It will not cause suffering. The sense of existence, which is the person, very simplified spoken, is the suffering. It doesn't cause real suffering, or is the illusion of suffering actually? Because there is no real suffering. It's not real. But within the sense of I am, within the sense of existence, there is the illusion of something is missing. Yeah. So there is not even a sense of unity? Yes, exactly. All there is is unity, but it's inexperience. There is no sense of it. Waiting, waiting until it feels like that, <laughs> that's, that's the person, so to speak. That's the mission of the person and it, and it fails. But I have to feel unified or I have to feel that everything is one. Oh. And that's the dream, basically. Oneness, how it is, is inexperience. There is no knowing or experience of the natural reality. In that sense, there isn't even something that's called the natural reality. We humans are condemned to be self-conscious, unlike animals. 
we think that knowing that we are is our chance and privilege, <laughs> but it's our most hidden curse, <laughs> right? Well, one could see it like that. In the end, it's no one is cursed. It's just what seems to be happening, but you're right. The illusion of self-consciousness seems to go together with the sense of separation and the seeking for wholeness. Yeah, one could say that's the price we pay for being self-conscious. On the other hand, we aren't condemned to be like that because self-consciousness actually is an illusion. There aren't self-conscious humans. That's the funny thing. It's just an illusion that they are. And in the story, one could say, it could just draw. No one's condemned. Andres, seems to be yeah. I'm sorry. Yesterday you said you said something about knowledge in that even the scientists they think that they have knowledge, but they don't have knowledge. Uh, yes. Yeah. You, you said you said knowledge is the knowledge does not exist because knowledge comes together with the opposite of knowledge, which is not knowing. So then you got that one coin, right? You said you said it's one coin. Two sides of one coin. And the scientists knowing think that they have knowing and doubt. Knowing and doubt. Knowing and doubt. Okay, knowing and doubt. That's different than knowing and ignorance. Yeah, exactly. It's knowing and doubt. And I think scientists nowadays always say what we know so far is that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because they and, know that. And they go in a circle. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they think. Yeah, but do you? That's just from quantum mechanics. Uh, I know that, but what about every? What about another science? What about uh, what about um, the medical field? Do you feel like they don't have knowledge either? Oh well, or they have knowledge. Knowledge. It's what. But of course, what seems to be happening is apparent knowledge. One apparent knowledge. Two, if you put the plug in here, you have electricity. That's all apparent knowledge. Just another description. It's not knowledge. Yeah. Right? Right? It's just another description. It's not knowledge. Mm. Well, mm. it's also not a real description. It's just what seems to be happening. Yeah. That's knowledge. We know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. me, and you, me and you know. Yeah, me and you know. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm having trouble getting my question together. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll leave it. Thank you, Andreas. So you literally don't care at all what happens. Just actually, William. Pardon? Anita was. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't see the hand. Yeah, Anita. So then you can say there is only no, no thing. Yes. But there's also no one who can say this. Yeah. In the end, because all because all there is is no thing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, William. So it's just a little bit similar to what I asked yesterday, but you literally don't care at all what happens in any way. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, there's no I to not care, but of course, there is no real caring about anything. Already. So Already. Caring only comes from the sense of I because it needs to find fulfillment. When there's no one looking for fulfillment, nothing matters. But yes, but in the story, caring might happen, but it's no one doing the caring. But no one's dependent on that for fulfillment. I think that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah, caring about what time it is or caring about 
to make this thing working is what seems to be happening. But no one cares. Okay, this thanks. Liberation is not a position of I don't care. Yeah. There's just no one there and automatically nothing matters, really. And that can't be explained either. Yeah. Because what we were talking about yesterday, like things that could pile up like stresses in the day, like getting stuck in traffic or the internet freezing or whatever it is, those that, that could cause <laughs> like inconvenience, stress, anger, whatever it is, frustration. But none of it matters to someone. Exactly. It would just be what apparently happens. Of course, there also wouldn't be a real piling up of something. It would just be what apparently happens. Okay, thanks. Which, which would be right or wrong or true or false or an illusion or whatever. It would just be unknowably itself. I think the problem is I'm still trying to imagine this. Like, I can't imagine how this could be. I can't imagine not things not mattering or not having significance. And... Possible, yeah. Yes, yeah. Because all the person tries to imagine is kind of a personal, a personalized picture that it doesn't matter to me, that it's okay for me, that I can accept it and stuff like that. But the two realities, and I know technically they're not two realities, but the personal uh, artificial reality and let's just say the natural reality or whatever you want to call it, when there's no sense of self, there's no comparison between the two. Yes. They're not even in any way similar. Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I think I think what happens is that that there's there's some sort of shift of energy, you know, but it's not it's I think it's not necessarily recognized that there isn't anyone. Oh, oh, no, of course not. Yeah, it's not recognized that there isn't anyone. There's a shift of energy and he feels good. You know, the person is in, there's there's some sort of opening or whatever, and the person sits there and he feels good. And he thinks he's going to get that. Maybe, yeah. 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 You know, oh, this will be so great. Walking down on the street and listening to cars going by is going to feel so good. I'm going to be there and feel good in it. Exactly. I'm yeah. not totally, of course. Yeah. 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 It's not at all what you're saying. No, exactly. Yes. Yeah. There's a, just no connection yeah. between, between what the person thinks, what it's about, and how it will be, and where it's all going yeah. to, and no thing, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Just no is, connection. From the person's point of view, this is suicide. Y yes. Yeah. Not knowing that, of course. Yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe it's even good <laughs> that it thinks that it's on this path to some <laughs> dreamland. <laughs> Why would it be good? <laughs> While it's actually, well, yeah, no. It's Being just, good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is only unknowability and indescribability. Well, kind of, but it's not something that is, you know, there isn't any kind of circumstance that is, whatever. You say that universe doesn't know that it exists, but maybe it is. We cannot know that. Oh yeah, of course. Nothing is nothing is known. Yeah. Yeah. But as I said, in the end, there isn't even a universe in the first place. This, that means to talk about the universe does this or that, or but, 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 is a story already anyway. Try imagining that all this is happening to someone else 
and you won't care at all what is happening. Oh, that's probably was to someone else, said to someone else. Okay, there never was a me. Isn't that a recognition? Well, I know what you mean. In the end, I mean, yeah, it sounds like as if you, as if there is a, a looking back and saying, "Oh, there never was a me in the past," and so. But it's not really meant like that. It's it's rather automatic because the moment it turns out that there isn't anyone in the first place, that this I was never anything substantial. You know, it's it's just not there in the first place, and actually if saying that it was never there it kind of doesn't matter really and it's not it's not recognized out of a, a process or a seeing ah oh, it never was or something it's instant it's instant and automatic in the end timeless but it's instant and automatic or of course as there is no one in the first place there has never been someone but it's not coming from a logical inquiry or something. The best thing I like about the message is it wipes away everything. But even after that, everything seems to be happening, but for no one. Yes, it doesn't really wipe away anything because it only seems to wipe away the person's illusion of there being something. There never was something. In that sense, nothing gets really wiped out. And yes, exactly as you say, what's left is what already happens. What's left apparently is what has been there all the time. No thing. <clears throat> What's unfathomable for me is that, you know, like you said, yours was a slow fading out and and um, it was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah it was kind of cool. You know, exactly. <laughs> Where this is like seems so, uh, you know, the stuff that happens here is so dramatic and, and whatever is going on with all the energies and stuff like that. And I'm not sure where it's going or whatever, but it's just like, just so incredibly colossal mm. you know it's unimaginable for me how can there be just a shh? yeah but actually the the in my story the, the picture of fading out also only and getting easy only makes sense after the years before oh <laughs> it weren't like that at all you know oh. uh, compared to them it was a slow fading out and things got easier and better, but I still had my issues and life was going on and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Andreas. Yes. I may. So, so what happens here, this is the report. So what happens here is that you're unapologetic about everything, or I am here. I am unapologetic, kind of like Joey says. And you're just doing, but other, let's say other people around you pressure you. Pressure me. They're in front of you. Yeah, they pressure you to behave another way. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's like, well, yeah, I feel pressure, and 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 I feel like okay, maybe you're right, but you mean like then in the restaurant, yeah, like something. behave, huh? Behave, yes, 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 like that. They tell me behave, behave, and like what? Well, I, I don't like, like there's no self awareness, so whatever. You understand? Sometimes there's no self awareness, so whatever. You know what self awareness is? Is you're aware of yourself. <laughs> So sometimes with me, there's no self-awareness and it's like, they say that's a mistake. So, yeah, apparently I am pressured sometimes. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. So then you feel contracted energy, let's say. Then yeah. I feel pressured. Yeah, the pressure. But then I walk out of the room and I forget about the pressure sometimes. Again? 
Uh, sometimes I walk out of the room and I forget about the pressure. Oh, it's not real. Or, or oh. it's not real. It goes away. Well, yeah. Even while it happens, it's not real. Okay. But then, the, then the inkling of I don't want this pressure comes here. I say I don't want this fucking pressure. But, but then that's also that's the residue maybe of the me. Well, yeah. Who knows? Because there's nothing. I mean, everything just happens by itself. Yeah. Thank you. It's reporting, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Is it nothing or no thing? <laughs> it's no thing. Question. The reality is both real and unreal. But when there is an experience, it becomes only real, right? A kind of, but when there, when there is an experience, it doesn't become real, but then it seems to be real for the experience. That is the illusion. I'm real and the world is real, so to speak. Then there is a real reality. It never is. Sit, sitting in front of a screen never becomes real. There is no point where this becomes actually something. Only in the experiencer's illusion, so to speak, or in the experiencer's experience, where this seems to be something. It never becomes something. Within the story, if I switch on the light in the living room, there are actually no electric wires hidden in the wall because there is just what apparently happens. Sitting in the living room, light burning, nothing hidden. The light burns because it burns in the story. No causalities behind it. Well, but uh, uh, there, there actually also isn't a real happening in the front. You know, uh, the, to... Um, to sit in the living room, to have the light burning, stuff like that, isn't something that happens in the foreground, so to speak, while there is no background to it. When I say there's just what seems to be happening, this is utterly unknowable what it is. And it doesn't really create, create a separation between what's in the foreground, which basically means what I'm aware of, and something beyond what I'm aware of. This separation doesn't exist. In that sense, I know saying all there is is what seems to be happening is kind of, it's, it's very close to all there is is this moment stuff. But yes, there is no knowing of there being wires behind the wall because there is no knowing of sitting, uh, sitting in a room in front of the wall. <clears throat> that, that's the person the person always says i'm sitting here and now i don't see any wires behind the wall or the train disappears behind the mountain there's no more train or whatever it's sitting here and viewing it and what it doesn't realize that the app this is already the absolute already mm -hmm. the yes. wall and the wires and the mountain is nothing or no thing is no thing already yeah. yes exactly yeah and there is no real difference between something being there or something or being absent so to speak yeah. something being in awareness and something not being in awareness that's kind of the tools that the person has to play with what the person and i think many people think that this is what's being said here but yeah. compared which is the same thing like all there is at this moment and all I can know is what I really see, which is a quite materialistic picture, actually. Yeah, it is a materialistic picture because it is in the isness of things in a way. In a sense, it's like I only believe what I see now. I think that's 500 years ago or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not the message in that sense. You can't. It, 
it can't go there, the person, because it's it's its own death. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, what this describes apparently, the person can't go there. There's yeah. no place for the person, or there is no person in the first place. And it's even sitting here at, and listening to this message and says, oh, yes, when the person will die, even by that question or statement, completely rejecting what's being said. Okay. When I'll die, it'll be this. It'll be, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be here now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. Overheard in immediately. But, but 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 Andres doesn't even believe what's happening now. You, you don't believe. What? I'm sorry, you don't believe. You know, uh, there's nobody there to 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 know there's some happening now. There's nothing there. There's nothing there which turns wholeness appearing as sitting in front of a screen into something that's experienced now. Yeah. It it feels like the other's message doesn't go far enough. Well, they are, well, they just remain within the person, so to speak. Personal messages just remain within the personal setup. So uh, and, they always include some kind of experiencing, some kind of duality, something that is yeah. and something that isn't. This, what I'm aware of now is, this moment is, everything else isn't stuff like that there's always yeah. in a personal teaching there's always something which is and something which isn't and something okay. which is right and something which isn't. yeah now here it sounds like you know more than them but that's not what you're saying <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it feels that way yeah but it feels it's not that way in the end it's the other way around they claim to yeah. know something, while yeah. there is no claim to know anything at all. But I know yeah. it looks like maybe, but yeah. it's just not the case. Yeah, this yeah. I can say that this resonates better because they they tell you that you're you're wrong. They'll tell you that you're you're the wrong one, they'll, or they'll imply that you 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 don't get it. Yeah, so to speak, exactly. But which which we don't I understand. We don't get it, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, in a personal teaching, okay. it is claimed that you are someone who needs to be taught something. Mm -hmm. and, and you tell them, look, look, dude, you tell them to their face, you're still talking like a person and you're still addressing me as a person. So, and then they go into, um, then they, they say that, that, you know, they, then they, you know what they say. Then they think they know more <laughs> which they do no more because oh, they're in the not so, yeah. yeah yeah anyway thank you Dante. thanks i think you know what i'm trying to say yeah well, i think so too <laughs> i mean you can't really talk about this with persons it's an impersonal message it's not you can't speak to people to someone. Oh, well, you can, but then, well, <clears throat> then you get what you get. <laughs> I, I get what I'm getting. I, I get what I'm getting. <laughs> so maybe I'll stop. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Thank you. Is it all about a position and no position? Well, in the end, yes, it's, it's not really about that. But what's being said is that this one position, I am now here, isn't real. It's a dreamt position already. And seeing from the person that is the first position, I am now here. And then it tries to find a better position, so to speak. A better way to be now here, open a closed, receptive, um, whatever, 
but the first position is I'm now here as an experience something and that doesn't have any reality <laughs> insanity of this message is the sanity finally revealing itself yes that's the funny thing the natural reality only looks insane seen from the person the person is constantly saying this can't sorry no it can't be it there must be sense it must have a direction it must be real it must be for something it must be of my use i must be able to gain something from you but no not at all and that's normal that's the natural reality and it's not it's not insane it's ordinary of course nothing is separate of course what is is naturally whole and complete of course there is no path to wholeness of course there's no one separate hello come on it's totally sane it just seems to be insane for the one who's separate and is looking at it <laughs> But then the insanity of the personal view is see, can be seen too. Yeah, yeah, apparently, yeah. Absolute, complete. Kind of, yeah, totally. Well, what seems to be normal for the person is actually... Um, <laughs> but only I mean, apparently, but also yeah. only apparently, not really. But the whole world, in that sense, is insane. Well, so, well, humans. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Society. Yeah, apparently. Only when you look at it. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, there isn't anyone. <laughs> okay, I don't know who was first. Maybe William. It was Anita. All right. Okay, Anita. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so it's energy speaking to energy. Apparently. Apparently. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's apparently. Yes, because yes. no one knows. It's another apparent description of what seems to be going on. Yeah. He's talking to themselves, nervous systems, talking to whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> William? So basically, there's just no other possibility than what's happening, what's apparently happening. No, uh, yes. Because the person lives in this story about all these different possibilities. Like, if I was doing this, maybe that was giving me what I'm looking for. If I was doing this, maybe that was giving me what I'm looking for. If I was being this way, blah, 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 blah. Yes. And if, it, and if that body or character or whatever started doing the other thing, then that's just what's happening. It couldn't have been any other thing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I suppose that's just another way of saying there's just no control. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, one could say so. I mean, the thing is, there isn't a, this isn't even one possibility because it's not something that is in a certain way. But yes, the person lives in this this impression that oh, this is just one possibility how it is now, within a multitude of possibilities. It could be something else or something else and all that stuff. Exactly. But it actually starts with the assumption that it is in a certain way now. Yeah, that's the problem. Because when I can say, OK, well, logically, there aren't other possibilities. It's only this. But I still see this as the one and only possibility rather than. Exactly. But in the end, this is already a no possibility. Sitting in front of a screen happening isn't possible, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning it's not happening. Yes, because it's no thing. It's already impossible that sitting in front of a screen is happening. <laughs> so, of course, there can't be any other possibilities, too. Okay, thanks. Um, 
Okay, it's a silly question, but if there is no time, why are we here in 2021 and not in 2500? Uh, there is no time means that we are not here in 2021. There isn't anyone now here. That's what's meant when there is no time. Actually means there is no one and automatically there, there is no time. So no one's here. Then what's the difference between separation as illusion and separation as what's happening? Well, nothing. What seems to be happening is the illusion of separation. Uh, well, separation as what's happening. Separation isn't happening. But a certain amount of people claiming to be someone, that's what apparently happens. And that's how it is. So there is no real difference. <laughs> what do you mean? Sitting in front of a screen is no possibility. <laughs> not possible. <laughs> it's not something. It's just not something that happens. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Sitting in front of a, it's not possible that sitting in front of a screen is something that's real. That's what I meant. Is it because there's no one there to for it to be possible for? Well, in the end, it's there is no answer to why or there is is no thing. That's just. There just is no nothing coming into existence, but not for a reason. The natural reality is uncaused. This is uncausedly no thing. It's not no thing because it has to be no thing. It's not no thing because of a greater process or something. No, it's uh, it's uncaused. Natural I'm so sure. <laughs> what? You sound so sure about it. <laughs> yeah, Thank the, you. That's the trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about confidence. <laughs> I know, I know that's not what you meant, but yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But you also say it's apparently happening. Yes, but it's apparently happening, which means that it's not really happening. Andreas, so I'm saying here, listening to this, as I have been for however long I've been in these meetings, trying to understand what does he mean? What does he mean? Trying to work it out. What's, what's he really saying? How can I understand what he's saying? There's nothing here to be understood at all. Nothing at all. Honestly, really. Yeah. So this talks are for nothing. You've said that, all, I'm quoting you. These talks are for nothing. There's no value being offered to and there's no one who has value there's no one to give value to the words are just apparently happening not really we're apparently listening but not really and it's all for nothing yes we won't get anything out of this anything yes no matter, and the person's story or dilemma in its life as here is if i really pay attention and listen and get how it is and understand it and work it out i will get something from it and that is just not that never happens it never happens and it never happened and it will never happen there is nothing to get <laughs> you never got anything from anything and in that sense coming to these meetings isn't different it's equally empty as everything else already you okay, know sorry yeah yeah I'm a bit, i don't know what to say the good news is that it's fun anyway but uh yeah it's great thank you <laughs> <laughs> i mean that that's the good news it's whole and complete regardless of no one getting anything
because nothing needs to be for something in order for it to apparently be it's just exactly it's just a condition that the person makes up it's only allowed to be if it's useful for me or anyone else so even like with anything if someone's listening to a beautiful piece of music or looking at a beautiful piece of art or whatever it is that doesn't need to exist for some reason or for someone to enjoy it or for it's just yeah exactly nothing exists for something else or for someone else it's not needed that's the freedom and the beauty but this message is like listening to a beautiful piece of music or looking at a piece of art i don't know if you think that <laughs> some say so <laughs> some say Thank you. Okay, Jack. This is just basically a factual question. How long have you been doing online talks? Oh, I don't know. I mean, in Germany, I started a few years ago, but not as regular as this. And I also had English online talks two or three years ago, but not very often. And now, when the lockdown started, uh, there's this where it's more regular. Mm. So approximately five years, maybe? In Germany, yeah, in German, five, six, but not with Zoom, with another thing at first. Yeah, yeah. And, and in American? Maybe two, really? two or three years ago. Okay. It was rather experimental you know, every two or three months, maybe a Zoom talk in the evening for two hours, if at all, maybe even less. But... Yeah. yeah, I agree with, um, with William. This is kind of like hearing a sound, a new sound. It's a sound because the words aren't, but it's almost mesmerizing. The sound draws the attention and that's, yeah, the sound draws the attention. That's mm. it. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So this seeking is already enlightenment happening. Well, yeah, if you want so, I mean, enlightenment happening is a bit, but yeah, everything is whole and complete already. Absolutely. Including the illusion of seeking. It's whole and complete for no one. So the, the seeker can't talk itself into it being okay to seek, but it is okay and whole and complete exactly as what it is, seeking, the illusion of seeking. Yes, totally. And when the seeking drops, nothing is, is attained or realized. It's equally whole and complete. It's equally what seems to be happening and it's equally whole for no one. Yeah, it doesn't get better. No, it's this. All there is, is how it is for no one. How come that all you are saying is so consistent, intelligent, and logical, up to a certain point, of course, exactly, because it ends up in absurdity, but that is also logical if there's no subject. Where does this consistency and intelligence within the story come from? I don't see a dog barking here. Well, maybe dogs bark also much more intelligent than uh, than it seems. Now, th there is no answer to this question, but in the end, it's uh, for no reason. For no reason, it is exactly as it is. But you could ask this question actually to the whole world. Why does the world seem to be consistent? Why does the sun rise every morning and why does it go down every evening? Why, it, uh, why uh, you know, that's the thing. For the person, this whole world, this whole universe looks consistent, but it just isn't. And, and that it, it's, it's just this sense of consistency that's added to it. 
without that sense of consistency, everything just is exactly as it is. The person would say, okay, if it isn't consistent, it must look completely different. That one, one day the sun rises, then it waits for 10 days and then it rises again or whatever. But no, it is exactly as it is without any reason. And for the person, and the person might say, well, if there's no purpose, if there's no whatever, it must be different. No, not at all. It already is exactly as it is for no reason at all. Can't be known or explained and isn't logical. <laughs> so right, it seems like we'll all be here attending these meetings in 2050 as well. <laughs> well, I'm open for it. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that we can get very valuable information from that meeting or message. Nothing can be known and nothing can be achieved for somebody. Yes, the thing is that uh, those, uh, those two can't be known really. So nothing can't, can be known, can't be known because nothing can be known. I was thinking when Zoe said if we'll still be here, sitting here in 2050, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking blow my brains out before that, you know, <laughs> rather, rather, honestly. And then I, and then I thought, why not just do it now? You know, <laughs> why, why wait? Why go through all that? Why go through all that time? Yeah. That's the dilemma of sitting at these meetings is that I think, the person thinks that it's going to get something. Yes, and then yeah. at some point it'll be over. Yeah, that's, yeah exactly. Through, that I'm through at some point. Yeah. yeah. No, no one will be through. As Jed McKenna says, the only uh, reasonable argument against suicide is failure to succeed will result in a possible six months jail sentence and a ten thousand dollar fine. <laughs> <laughs> I would say catch me if you can. That is why I show up at these meetings. <laughs> what Joey just said. <laughs> That's hysterically funny. And it, uh, you show up because of Joey? Well, just that type of statement. There's always at some point in one of these meetings, someone's going to say something. And it makes perfectly good sense, despite it being absolutely an insane statement. It's just, yeah. It, it's absurd. It's, it's, it's like a Monty Python situation, that type of thing. Because half, half the time, half the time, half the time I'm sitting here going, mm, oh, yes. Oh. And then the other part is like, he is crazier than a shithouse rat. He makes no sense whatsoever. But yet there's the fascination to show up and hear it. That was just an observation, meaning nothing whatsoever. Yeah. Apparent. Thank it, you. In the story, in the story, there is there is entertainment value here in the story. Okay, some people think this non-duality speaker that speaks it, they say that is suffering with mental disorder. Yeah, some people think I'm crazy. Yeah, but not too many probably. But that, that was me and I was trying to be gentle. But yeah, they say crazy. Thank you. That's fine. If not dropping away of me forever, I will settle down with a glimpse or even a tiny little spiritual experience. Is there any method or technique to attain a glimpse or a spiritual experience? When people talk about spiritual experience, I'm really jealous. I don't know what they are talking about. Yeah, well, they don't really exist, spiritual experience. Experiences don't really exist, so it's stories. It's all about stories.
Okay, I just do the last two from the chat. If seeking is wholeness, why does it drop? Why can't it keep going even after the me disappears? Well, because well, because the me is seeking. The me is the seeking energy. It's not those aren't two things. It's not that the me is seeking that the me could stop seeking at some point. Me means to seek. So when the me disappears or drops or the illusion of me drops, the seeking automatically drops as well because the me is the seeking energy. But uh, the dropping is apparent, so to speak. It's not real. Okay, <clears throat> but in the story, the purpose seems to be life, the preservation and perpetuation of life. Oh, but, but that too is just what seems to be happening. Life, a, a heartbeat, thoughts, feelings, walking around, getting food, is just what seems to be happening. But, but the only thing that thinks that this has a purpose or that this is good for anything, that there is life happening and that life tries to preserve itself would again be the purpose, the, the person, which somehow needs to add this artificial idea of purpose to a everything that happens, including apparently being alive and apparently preserve life. Yeah, it's also without purpose. But you said in the story, it's what seems to be happening but for no reason. Some wrote, it's 2050 already. <laughs> it's timeless. <laughs> no, it isn't. <clears throat> uh, all right, um, that's it. Um, just to let you know, anyone who's interested to watch, I'll have a conversation with Justin tonight, but there are no questions allowed. It's just a show. <laughs> well, whatever. We don't do it for the audience. But, um, is, is it live or recorded? I'm sorry. No, it's, is, live. You... it's live. Yeah. I'm oh. sorry. What channel is it? What channel? Yours? Oh, it's on Zoom. It's on my website. You'll find it. Review. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a show. Thank all right. Um, apart from that, um, that's all there is. There's nothing to gain or to get or to lose. There's also no suggestion to join tonight. <laughs> there is no suggestion to do or to not do anything at all. All there is is what seems to be happening. And it's naturally whole and complete. Ah, and uh, there won't be talks next week, by the way. I'm having a, a residential in Germany, and that's going to be a bit too much if I do talks in the break. Thanks for nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a Thank lovely you. Time. Thank you. For nothing. Bye. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bye. Andreas. Thank you, Andreas. Bye-bye. Thanks, Andreas. Thank you, Andreas. Bye. Oh. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.